Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a blessed Sunday to each and everyone watching this video at the moment. Now, before I start in the news for today, I want to say to the family of this young child who was 9 years of age, Idonia and his wife, condolences. Now, their son has passed on due to terminal illness and people trust me when you're a parent and your child die in a form of sickness or an incident the pain that you feel trust me is no normal pain and a pain where you book your foot what is a massive pain for you as a child and we don't know what they're going through, but trust me, they are mourning and taking this very, 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 very hard. As I said before, losing a child brings great pain. I don't know, and his wife, condolences. Now we head towards St. Elizabeth once again. We're on the screen is a wanted man who is actually wanted for murder which happened about two months ago on the Kincaid Plaza in Southfield, St. Elizabeth. Now, in the video I did a few days ago, I didn't have his name. But right now, I got his first and his last name. Yeah man, we dig deep and get him first and his last name. And also where he is at this moment. Now, he was actually the trigger man who I said to the life of Peter mainly on the King K Plaza few months ago. Now, as I said in previous video, is that they were actually robbing a cash pot outlet, when after which they shot and killed Peter mainly. Now, as I said, Peter wasn't even a threat to them. He was no police, he wasn't engaging them. Basically, they killed him innocently. They murdered him innocently. And the family could actually mourn his loss. Now the killer on your screen right now, who is Dwayne Morris. You hear me say? He is Dwayne Morris. Yeah man. A known trigger man. Like I said before, Dwayne Morris frequents the south side of St. Elizabeth even though he's not from that part of St. Bess. Now, this youth commit a lot of robberies, about bar robberies, stealing poker box, home invasions, you name it. Now, Peter mainly is not the first person he has shot. Before Peter mainly got killed by this killer, he actually robbed a bar and the process shot a man inside the bar. And about one week after that bar robbery, he went to the King Cave Plaza with two other men and then basically robbed the cash pot outlet to the life of Peter mainly. Now the police want him badly. Now I said before, in a previous video, he frequents the Postam district in Monroe, St. Elizabeth, Jamaica and also a place called Carby, Berlin, and also Roanhill in St. Bess. Now, his means of traveling is by a motorcycle. Yeah man, him have a bike, we actually go around pan. So, to the residents of those areas, if you see him, call the police. And if you don't have information to the police, you can actually visit my IG page on Instagram and message me or email me and the police will get the information coming from me. Now we head towards Kingston and St. Andrew. Where the screen right now is a woman known as Cassia Mori. Yeah man, she might have a pretty smile, nice pose, but it's a dangerous piece of woman. And when I say dangerous,
piece a woman. She has committed two murders so far. And basically, I get charged for one. We want to know who this woman murdered recently, actually last week. Me I tell you right now. Yeah man, Ramon Pallison. The same youth who was stabbed to death by Cassia Murray last week in an altercation. Yeah man, the baby father of Cassia Murray. Now basically, Cassia went to the house of Ramon Pallison where she saw a woman. A fight broke up between Cassia and Ramon when she used a knife to inflict several wounds to his body, killing him on the spot. Now my viewers and my subscribers, Ramon faced disastrous treatment by this woman. Basically this woman was abusing him left, right and centre. And Ramon made several reports to the police. But the JSM officers, all he did was laugh at him to scorn. Yeah man, this youth reported her more than once and the police laughed him to scorn. He even carried to court and he actually dropped the case against her. And right now, she took him life. Now Ramon is not the first man whose life she has taken. You hear me say? Ramon and the first man whose life she have taken. Few years ago, she killed a man as well. Now based on information, she actually never get charged for that. But right now, she has actually gotten arrested and charged for the murder of this man. Now the JC officers who laughed at Ramon, how do you feel now within herself? And this young man came to know a reporter on several occasions. And basically, you officers did nothing at all. It was basically laugh at him and make him feel like he's nobody. Jamaicans, many men in this country face abuse. But because the police in this country are so unprofessional and so one sided and unbalanced. These men suffer within. They suffer within and take the abuse by women. Listen, I know only women get abused in this country. Many men who I've spoken to tell me that the women abuse them. Many men in this country face abuse daily by women. You have men in this country who refuse to put their hands on a woman. They refuse to beat and abuse a woman or fight back because they were not raised to do that. And these women take advantage of these kind of men. Something needs to happen in this country. The country is too unbalanced. The country is too one-sided. If it was America, Canada, England, Ramon, life would have been safe because in America for example they take the abuse on men very seriously and they treat it very equal as when women get abuse but Jamaica because we are so ignorant our laws are so ignorant and stupid them feel say a woman alone can get abuse we to stop it we to stop it this instant men can be abused by women you have women who can overpower men. Sad case people. It's a lesson to people in this country. Stop being one-sided. And cases like these are the reason why this country will never grow. Because many Jamaicans are so illiterate and ignorant to these issues. Yes, men face abuse too by women and not only women alone but because when a woman get abused god forbid we actually go out and protest but when a man get abused by a woman the place quiet this is j chris news once again until then bless up
Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements as well J Crazy not play when him a review the thing then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements as well J Crazy not play when him a review the thing then Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy